going on guys, Dev0406 here and today I am back with another adventure quest video and for today's video we will be talking about the newest and quite possibly the best darkness set to have ever come to the game and that is the Angel of Souls set, also known as the Devs set. Right, so I've just finished uh, farming up for the set and I'm gonna show it to you guys right now, okay. So first of all, to get the set, you have to go to Death's Domain. Basically, you can access it in the um, today's event uh, button as of right now. But uh, once it is uh, removed from there, you can access it by um, losing a battle once or just dying to any monster. So yeah. So now I'm going to shift up the armor. I'm going to give you guys a few tips on farming. Now, to get the full set, you need to collect 100 hourglasses in order to unlock the shop and my god that was a heck of a grind okay so um get yourself a nice cold drink and um play put on some uh, nice uh, farming music or for my case i'll just uh put on some videos at the side so it doesn't feel like i'm not doing anything so yeah um put on a video or some music uh have a nice drink and get ready to sit down for about two hours plus around there okay so it took me somewhere a little over two hours to finish farming out all 100 of the hourglasses now uh every page or every room that you goes to uh you will only find one uh chest inside there and inside each chest is one hourglass so the moment you uh find the chest then you go to the blue orb to get out of the room to refresh the page basically and to refresh the room so you can uh find another chest and get another hourglass only one chest and one hourglass can be found in uh one room so once you find it from the chest, then uh, go to the blue orb and get out immediately, okay? Now, the purple portals, okay, I do not advise going there simply because they are sort of a riskier style of getting hourglasses, I would say. In fact, um, I think it wastes a lot of time, so as much as possible, try to avoid the purple, uh, the purple portals because some of them leads to some random quests that uh, give you no hourglasses whatsoever there's one uh, that's very good it's the one where you have the lopsided throne sitting on top of a bit of lava and then like um you just have to skip through a little bit of dialogue like less than five seconds worth of dialogue and then you get like um, two or three hourglasses there's a, also another one where you meet frosty the snowman okay that one um always volunteer to help him and uh the the correct cave is i believe is the one on the left okay i've encountered him twice and uh, both of the times, um, picking the cave on the left is uh, gave me like extra, I think three or uh, three or five hour glasses. I cannot remember. So yeah. Anyways, it's hell a long grind, and as much as possible, the fastest way to do it is um, get the chest inside the room and then move on to the blue portal to get to the next room. So if you're good and you don't encounter any monsters, you could do it faster. For me, I wasn't really paying attention as much to the game, and I actually. Uh, you know encountered some monsters along the way because I wasn't walking properly. I was a bit impatient and yeah So after all that grinding you get this uh, bunch of very neat equipment. So let us go and take a look at it, right? So um, I didn't get the weapon simply because the weapon is ranged and I don't use any ranged weapons. It's however very good for rangers and um, The weapon functions exactly like the hydromancer blood blade. Okay, so you get the full set which is the weapon, the shield, and the armor, and get and the weapon actually gets an extra thirty percent damage boost. That is a, I in fact I think that is the best darkness weapon for rangers right now. So rangers definitely go and get it. Okay, but I did get the shield, which is the lantern of souls, and the armor, which is the angel of souls. Now, I find the artwork for this absolutely amazing. I mean, just just look at it. Wow simply blown away by the artwork so great job now it sort of looks something that came uh, right out of AQ worlds to be honest uh, to be honest but hey no complaints the artwork looks great so the, the base armor you have 50 mini defense uh, 46 range defense and 54 magic defense and then for your resistances your main resistance is obviously darkness okay with a secondary resist to ice and tertiary resist resistance to water and wind and of course your opposite elements are fire energy and light so it is a fully offensive armor so and now let me show you guys the shield okay so the shield actually brings 
down your darkness percent all the way to 13 percent which is very good and provides uh, some decent blocking as well now i can't really do maths with my brain my brain is basically dead from school so you guys can go and calculate that out yourselves how much blocking it gives or you can just uh, head on over to our forums to look at the exact numbers so the attack animation here you can see is two hits let's do that again Alright, and basically the shield has, uh, it, the Mastercraft ability of the shield is that it has a 35.7% chance of um, letting you completely block an attack by a monster, assuming that the attack is not unhittable or the attack does not have more than 300 uh, BTH. Now the forum states 35.7%, honestly I think that's a bit high, uh, it could just be a typo, I personally think it should be 3.5%, okay. But in the case that it is 35.7%, uh, then it is really, really uh, strong, almost to the point of being OP. But doesn't look like that's the case. Combat practice trainer is hitting me quite a lot. So I think the chance is actually 3.57%. So yeah. Also, this armor actually comes with a skill, which is called Time to Burn. And this is a very unique uh, skill. In fact, the one of the first HP costing skills in the game, I think. Okay, so channel some of your life force. Through your weapon to burn through some of your foe's life, this weapon based darkness skill costs 47 HP. So it is a very spammable skill. Only 47 HP, it doesn't deal a great deal of damage. It does about 2 times your weapon damage, so uh, it's your regular damage times 2. But you can see here in the event of lucky strikes like that, wow, it is really strong. And it only costs 47 HP, so very, very nice and very spammable skill. Even more spam uh, spammable than the sword sickle skill uh, from the Champion of Terror Su set, so I really really like that. Now let us take a look at the damage potential of this armor. Let us equip and see what it is. Okay, Minotaur Essence, very nice. So now I'll equip a uh, Kingdom Breaker, okay. And shields, oh, I don't have Chief Thane's Iron Thorn, that's okay. Um, never mind, let, let us flee. Okay, never mind, let, let us just see how much damage he can do. Okay, uh, 500 plus without uh, Chieftain Iron Thorn and without uh, my Dunamis out, okay. I only have a single Dunamis, I did not get, haven't gotten the package version of Dunamis yet, obviously, since I have no money, but... So, yeah. And you can see here, the armor is consistently doing about 500 over damage with a base heavy weapon. Now, let us try something else, maybe Giant's Wrath. So, yeah, okay, 600 plus. And the skill for the armor is actually locked to darkness, if I am not wrong. So, uh, yeah, you guys can take a look at the skill again. Time to burn. Ooh, that is heavy hitting. So, yeah. All in all, I really, really like this armor. The artwork is amazing. The skills are amazing. The animation is... Mm, I would say the animations are just okay, but they are not terrible by any means. And this is definitely the best um, gold... Uh, fully offensive darkness armor out there i don't think it's going to be rare so you guys can take your time to farm for it and yeah i think this is an excellent release especially for the free to play players who don't have the money to spend on the uh package item so why not i might consider uh, switching a decimator for this armor but i still need to think about it first so now i gotta put back my equipment and yeah that's gonna do it for this video guys obviously i did not put in the part where i was farming for it Though some of you guys may actually like to see me doing that, but I don't think anyone of you guys would actually like to watch a 2 hour long video, you know, so yeah. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video, if you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more future Adventure Quest content for I upload AQ videos on a weekly basis. Until the next time, this has been Dev0406, peace out.